It came from a can. What do we got today, Pink? Well, we have algae in a can. Mm. Yummy. Seasoned algae from Shatori Hijiki. Made with kelp extract and bonito broth. Ooh, yummy. Delicious. A bonito broth? This really? Gonna be, this is gonna be great. Really? <laughs> Okay, that could that could be like a meaty part to this, and I don't know how. Uh, this smells fresh from the sea. You wanna <laughs> wanna get a sniff there, camera gay? Wow, that <laughs> is like a beach. What it smells like is when uh, you're down at the beach, like you do. Uh, you know, just like picking up rocks and skipping them and stuff. But like, you pick up a really big rock where all the crabs and stuff hide under, and you get a good whiff of that. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what this smells like. Lovely. A little bit of driftwood in there too. A little bit of driftwood, you know. You always want a little bit for seasoning. Oh god, I don't know how much or little of this I'm gonna eat. It looks terrifying. <laughs> it kind of looks a little bit like it could be like an ogo or something like that, seaweed. Like, I didn't think algae was this big. I was expecting it to be a lot saltier because it smells like the ocean. Um, <coughs> the flavor, it kind of tastes like a sand dollar smells like. Oh <laughs> man. <laughs> Maybe a little bit starfishy. <laughs> um, the texture is I don't know, it's interesting. It's almost has like a like a fatty feel to it, but it's also gritty. It kind of hangs out in your mouth for a, lot, a while. You know you're, you know you're going to be digging chunks of this out of your teeth for a long time. Oh yeah. Wicking a lipid. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's like it's kind of not bad. It's definitely not good. But maybe you could do stuff with this? I can almost picture stuff, but it's really hazy. I can't I can't think of it exactly. Do you think there's applications for this as opposed to seaweed somewhere? Because uh, seaweed is very versatile and it's very flavorful. Yeah, this is yeah, this is more like the quino of <laughs> quinoa of seaweed, you know, where it's really flavorless but adds texture. Um so yeah, if you're like I don't know, if you got like rice or something, you could probably throw some of this in there if you want some nutritional value of algae in there. I, if it has some, I, I'm sure it must. And then uh, it doesn't lend a lot of flavor, but a little bit of flavor, and that'd be, probably be fine. But other than that, like, I'm not really sure what you do with it. You definitely don't eat it right out of the can. <laughs> we know that much. All right. Did you eat the stick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this just tastes like the beach. <laughs> like, especially... Like, ah. Yeah, if you were to, like, pick up a sand dollar and sniff it, that's what this tastes like. It's almost verbatim what Pink said. Yeah, like... <laughs> It's like the beach, but 500 yards away from the beach. It's not yeah. quite the beach. It's like, yeah, like if you're, it's like when the tide's out really far and you're picking up stuff that normally is under the water. Yeah, it's just, yeah, yeah. And it does, like, there's like grit and shit in it. It's like if you're to pick up like a, a dead clam, like just the shell, you know, and just take a scoop of sand from underneath the rock, like what he said, and just like. So there's sand inside of this. Something gritty. Mm. And uh, it, eh. it just, it's weird. What's up? So I made another trip up, up to Oregon. <laughs> same jacket, same shirt. <laughs> they don't have algae where I live, actually. Man. No, I'm joking. Those clothes are getting a lot of mileage. Holy <laughs> shit. Sucks, I only own one shirt, you know? It's... <laughs> but I've never had algae before, so I'm, I'm, I'm real curious. It kind of looks like bugs, like just on the on the fork there. 
This could be like a whole bunch of dead crickets or dead whatever, but <laughs> it does smell like the sea. I've eaten squid before, like canned squid, unfortunately, so you got all the ink and everything. Similar to that, so let's see. Hopefully it tastes better. kind of have a the grape leaf vibe sort of so what Arrow said was was you know but not something I want to eat <laughs> I don't I don't I don't get any thrill out of it <laughs> I'm excited to try it but now I'm a lot less excited so. this doesn't turn your crank come on nope. my crank is actually going down there right oh now. snap yeah but um thanks for giving me the opportunity it was actually a fun experience <laughs> <laughs> It does have the appearance of an ogo, like a red seaweed, kind of. Um, or chewing tobacco. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> it even looks like pipe tobacco. Yeah, it kind of does. All oily and shit. All right. Here we go. Oh, man. <laughs> So the texture is that of like a cooked spinach, like the, the, the canned cooked spinach. Oh yeah. It's really soft. It's a little bit like collard greens. Hmm. No, I, well, I've never had any collard greens like that. I, I, I have people who know how to cook some collard greens. <laughs> but it's just turning into a, a gnarly paste in my mouth. And specifically, this is like, the smell in the air after a bunch of dead jellyfish wash ashore. Because <laughs> it's not just the ocean. There is also some fetid nastiness going on in here. Because seaweed encapsulates all of the flavors of the sea that you kind of want. And there's no question in my mind that that is why it's more heavily marketed than this crap right here. Yeah, this has got to be a garnish or something. It's absolutely just bland, and all the flavors that are there are basically like low tide, <clears throat> and it's disgusting. And there are some little bits of grit or grain in there, but the rest of the product is so overly cooked that it, it's just it's just mush and little bits that <laughs> you crunch into, and and it's it's terrible. <laughs> I really hate this product. <laughs> So thank you for joining us today on this episode of It Came From A Can. This thing totally sucks. <laughs> I hate it. Um, and it, it it is close to like puking sort of territory. So um, yeah, join us next time. <laughs> <laughs> when we hopefully have something a lot better. Remember to uh, check out all of the social deets down below. Remember to check me out over on twitch.tv.lofimolasses. And, uh, yeah. <coughs> and, oh, and make sure to check out Natter over on Freak Eating. Until next time, everybody. Oh, bye bye.